a girl in a sweater. And you know what that means. The season of exposed skin is over. Exactly. Gone are the tank tops, Ted. Gone are the cute little skirts. Gone are the sundresses. The sundresses, Ted. I don't think I can make it another eight months with no sundresses. Barney, I really, I have to grade these papers. I'm sorry, I'll let you work. But first, a riddle. What piece of women's attire most stokes a man's desire? That sundress. Correct. What lightweight outfit, pink or white, makes the front of my slacks abnormally tight? I really have to get this done. Of course, of course. Sundress, by the way. <laughs> what are you nervous about? Tell me, tell me, tell me. What flowing cotton okay. cloth? There's a... There's a girl sitting at the bar. Oh, love. Don't look. Well, I want to see a pretty girl. Okay, look, just, okay. just, just be cool oh, for one second. I'll be cool. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you why in one word. And what's that word? Dibs. Look, I don't have time for a fake history lesson, so I'll keep this simple. You go over there and talk to that girl. I will see you in court. And who's gonna represent you? Dibs on Marshall is my lawyer. You know what? To hell with your dibs. I'm going over there right now and talking to her. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Be my guest. Fall in love with her. Get married. Just know this. When I step up to make my toast as your best man... Actually, Marshall will probably as be... As your best man. Ladies and gentlemen, I had dibs. No! Tell me this isn't true. I, I had implied dibs. Oh! You, you humiliated me. I had no idea. You have to know that. Shh, shh. You're the victim here. We both are. Let's get out of here. <laughs> or, you know, we could just do it right here. We could just do it right here. Yeah. <laughs> Good God, woman, you're a disgrace. No fries for this guy. Robin, seriously, I love you, but it's like you have squiggly cartoon odor lines coming off of you right now. You know what, Barney? Just cut her some slack, okay? She just went through a breakup. <laughs> With hygiene? No. Is this a Cheeto? No, we ran out of Cheetos last week. Oh, yeah, it's a Cheeto. Dibs. Oh, you're exquisite. You must let me paint you. What's this gonna cost me? Excuse me? Your dibs. I want to buy your dibs. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Twenty bucks. But I... Can I go smell her first? No. Fine. All right. That girl she's talking to, I dated her. Oh, that sucks. And dibs. Oh, look at you, Robin. You're jealous. Jealous? Yeah, jealous. Because she's got it, and you've lost it. <laughs> I have not lost it. You lost it. I still have it. Okay. I know exactly where it is. And I can go get it whenever I want. Robin, girls are like cartons of milk. Each one has a hotness expiration date, and you've hit yours. I'm not saying the occasional guy won't still open the fridge, pick you up, give a sniff, shrug, and take a sip anyway, but it's all downhill from here. I don't have to take this. Then I do have to take this. If I don't come back, tell my mom I love her. Okay, will do. And dibs. I had my dad's number. I would never not be on the phone with him. Wow, that was really... Whoa, a hottie with a body born. <laughs> Brief. Oh, no, good, really, look. You saucy little minx. You sundressed up. You do look super hot. Oh, do I? Yeah, you do. Thanks. Before you leave. Her words, exactly. Mm. Dude, you are so in. That is so awesome. A high five doesn't even cut it. High six. Listen. She didn't see us high six, did she? No. Good, that was pretty lame. Yeah, let's never do that again. Mm.